Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to add a table of contents in the WordPress Gutenberg editor using the Ultimate Blocks plugin. Let's take a look at how it works. The first thing you'll need to do is download Ultimate Blocks. Head on over to ultimateblocks.com and click on the download button. Now you can make your way to your WordPress dashboard and navigate to Plugins, Add New, Upload Plugin. Click on Choose File, and select the zip file you downloaded earlier. Click on the Install button, then select Activate. Alternatively, you can also install and activate the plugin without leaving your WordPress dashboard. To do that, navigate to Plugins, Add New, and search for Ultimate Blocks. Click on the Install button, then select Activate. Now you're ready to add a table of contents to your post or page. First, click on Ultimate Blocks in your dashboard sidebar to access the Blocks Manager and make sure the Table of Contents block is toggled on. Then you can open the post or page you want to add your table to. Click on the plus symbol where you want the table to go. Then you can scroll down to the Ultimate Block section and select the Table of Contents block. Alternatively, you can search for Table of Contents in the search bar here. Either way, your Table of Contents will automatically list each heading in your post or page. This list also updates automatically when you add or remove headings, as you can see here. You can also choose to hide or show lower level subheadings in your table of contents. If we toggle the H3 setting, you can see those subheadings disappear from our table. In addition, we can choose to add a button to hide or show the table of contents in the live post. All we have to do is scroll down to additional settings and toggle this switch on. You can now see the hide option in the table of contents. Finally, you can also determine the number of columns that will be displayed in your table of contents using these buttons in the block toolbar. You can choose from one, two, or three column layouts. As you can see, this three column layout isn't ideal for our current post. It breaks the list up into confusing pieces. However, if you take a look at this glossary style post, which has many headings that are all very short, the three column layout makes the table look more organized and actually saves space in our post. And there you have it. You now know how to add a table of contents in the WordPress Gutenberg editor using the Ultimate Blocks plugin. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you in the next tutorial.